city of over 600,000 folks and uh, over 90 square miles of area. So there's a lot of area and a lot of events to cover. In the city of Seattle, one of the largest community events is the Seafair Celebration. One of the largest events on the Seafair Celebration is the Torchlight Parade. What makes it unique is that it is a nighttime parade in the downtown of Seattle. We have at least 200,000 people that are spectators to this event. So it's important for the police department and the fire department to work together to set a safe environment where our families can come and enjoy the parade and to discourage criminal activity in and around the parade route. We have an authorized sworn strength of over 1,300 officers. That night, torchlight night, uh, we have at least half of the department deployed. We're able to share the same information, the same view using the common operating picture so that when there's a, a need to make a change, everyone is working from the same sheet of music. In event planning, we know that the moment the event starts, the plan itself changes because the real life event causes changes. And so having that dynamic platform to be able to do adjustments on the fly is truly an advantage of using the common operating picture. So what we have been strategically doing over time is to be able to leverage the city's investment in GIS, specifically through ESRI, into practical, real-life, everyday solutions that we can use. Our unit uses GIS to create heat maps of crime. We will figure out what crimes are occurring the most in one area and then try and figure out who can be deployed to combat that crime. The social media aspect allows us to see the demeanor of the crowd and where is the concentration of the crowd. An example is the Boston bombing. They use social media to track down who the suspects were. In Seattle, we wanted to see if we could integrate it in with our common operating picture. At Torchlight, I was able to find people sending Instagram photos and people tweeting and people sending Facebook uh, information out. We were able to watch the whole parade from inside our office because we were able to see all the people and how large the crowds were. And we were able to figure out what was trending on social media. By and large, the information that I was getting was telling me that it was a very successful event. Everybody was staying peaceful. As an end user, I didn't get any training, essentially. I, I was introduced to GIS online when it was launched last year and found that it was very intuitive. And because of that, I saw the, the potential for it and how quickly we can start getting away from writing maps on a piece of paper to having them digital and available for us. And then also being able to share that with other users as well as other partners that we have. We think it's a powerful tool for commanders to have, but also for officers. And having all those different agencies involved on that one platform gives us a lot of ability and also gives us more eyes when a major incident occurs. COP application is actually installed on pretty much every user's computer in the department. So as a new incident comes in, within a few seconds, it makes its way to the COP. So it's pretty much real time. As the incident's updated over time, the updated information comes in. You can also switch into what's called incident mode, where you see an individual incident as opposed to all of the incidents and all of the units. And for any given incident, you can see all of the units that are responding to it. That's a lot of information you can see, and you don't have to be a CAD expert or a JS expert to see it at a glance. As we get more and more people in the department involved and make more and more of them aware of what it is and what it can do, I think we're going to grow in heaps and bounds. That's what excites me. I'm 28 years in this profession, and I'm excited to come to work to start working on those sorts of environments. When we integrate these smart tools into our daily operations and practice them in pre-planned events, then we are better able to serve the needs of the community when something unexpected happens. And fundamentally, that's what police departments are here to do, to serve their citizens when 